will you consider directly appealing to ATAGI to change their medical advice on AstraZeneca and open it up to 50s and over on the basis that that decision was made when the country was in a very different situation to what it is in now? It's a constant appeal. I can assure you. It's a constant appeal uh, that the situation that Australia faces should be uh, managed on the balance of risk, as ATAGI has said to me in the past, when they made the decision um, to restrict uh, or to have a preference um, for those uh, under the age ultimately of 60 um, to have the Pfizer vaccine, they said they made that decision on the balance of risk. Well, it's for them to now constantly reconsider how that balance of risk applies and, and, and provide their, their advice um, accordingly. Do you concede one of the challenges has been your own government's miscommunication around AstraZeneca and whether or not people should take it? Well, I'm not, I cannot control what ATAGI advises. They are an independent... They are an in, so are you, are you suggesting that the government, when advised by the technical and advisory group on immunisation, some of the most senior level um, scientific medicos in the country tell the government that the preferred vaccine uh, for people of particular ages is 50 and then they changed it to 60, mm -hmm. that the government should refuse that advice? You've just said there's a constant appeal, though, for them to change that advice. Well, sure, but they're the ones... It's different about then as no, opposed to now. No, they're the ones who make medical assessments, scientific assessments, about what's in the health interests of Australians. Now, all through this, all through this, we have listened carefully and been guided by that medical advice. So if you're seriously suggesting that the government should have neglected medical advice in the handling of the pandemic, I'm sorry, of that, that is exactly now. what you're suggesting. Prime Minister, and you're that is not something that I would appeal. accept as a, as a viable proposition. Thank you. Prime Minister, just a couple of questions. Non